It's the end of February, and if your roses are looking like this, you're in good shape. Now let's prune them. The, the reason this is the best time to prune the roses is because it's just coming out of dormancy. It hasn't spent all of that saved energy on making new leaves yet. So it's just barely, you can see, the buds are just starting to swell. It's just getting ready to start making those new branches and new leaves. And so before it expends that energy, we're gonna trim it the way we like it. Roses are super susceptible to diseases. So it's important that there's airflow in the plant. So what we're looking for is five, six, seven canes uh, that we're going to keep. And I really like this one. It's just the right size, it's young. Um, and so I'm gonna keep this one and I'm going to cut it about knee height um, at a bud that I can see is alive. I really like this outward bud. It's pointing away from the middle of the plant. So I'm gonna cut right above it and what that will do is it will, as the plant brings its nutrients from the soil, it will send it to that bud. But if I'm done with this, it's gonna look kind of naked and that's okay. That's what it's supposed to be like at the beginning of the year. But by the middle of the summer, it won't look like we did anything. But the rose, the plant will be much happier. I'm finished pruning it. The center is hollowed out. There is plenty of air flow coming through here that will help prevent diseases. Here's another one that's just been finished. So if these are your best canes, then this is great. The next thing you need to think about is fertilizing. So you're going to do that when there's about six inches of new growth and do that with a balanced fertilizer. 